Hey guys, what up, Mike here, Laker Talk. Let's talk about Boogie Cousins, Drajan Bender, Ingram, Ben Simmons, and Jalen Brown for a quick second. Uh, first off, uh, Boogie Cousins. Uh, lately, he's been, we played Sacramento last game, and he's been posting some, you know, made some comments about how well, you know, our young core has been playing, or he's been giving our young core a lot of, a lot of love lately. It seems my my uh, response to that is Boogie Cousins. He definitely wants out of Sacramento. I mean, and he knows that the Lakers are in a big need of a center. And we've been in love with him. Some, you know, like our fan base have been in love with him for several years now. And Boogie Cousins is one of the most talented. He's the best talented center out there. Having said that, I feel that he's planting seeds, right? He's planting seeds and like, hey, I would love to play with that core. Couple things though, as as much as he's one of the top players in the league, I don't know about Boogie Cousins. I don't know if I want Boogie Cousins on the Lakers because he's a cancer. When things get tough and things will get tough, and when we're playing like 500 basketball or below, and you know he's going to end up slapping somebody in the locker room, um, and it's been shown in college, pros, he's had you know, temperament issues. And I don't know if we need that. I don't know if I'm willing to give up like a Julius Randle, who's a very, very nice, you know, beast of his, of, in his own right, and very nice off the court. You know, uh, Jordan Clarkson, very nice, subtle person off the court. Um, you know, D'Angelo obviously is untouchable in, in any trade scenario, but <clears throat> I don't know if I would give up a Randle. I don't know if I would give up too much value for Boogie Cousins, because I don't think, because also, what what has Boogie Cousins done for Sacramento? As good as, he's, as he is, he hasn't gotten them really anywhere, and they have a really solid team. They're much better than the Lakers in terms of talent. Um, so, I don't know. My thing is, yeah, he's planting seeds, but personally, right now, I'm sticking with our young core. I'm not touching them. I'm not trading for Boogie Cousins at this moment. That's my thoughts. Um, Mitch Kupchak recently went over to overseas to look at the Cro Croatian uh, kid, the Euro, uh, Drajan Bender. Um, as you all know, right now we're slated to have the number two pick, but we could fall to number three. Now, my opinion is this. Ben Simmons and Ingram are the clear number one or two. Now, they could swap either way depending on what your need is, in my opinion. Um, I still think 75% Ben Simmons is an overall number one pick. Um, based on just talent, you know, body-wise, uh, potential, whatnot. Ben Simmons, number one, Ingram, number two. So if Lakers fall number two, we got to pick Ingram. Um, if, if, if it's switched, if Philly ends up taking Ingram, obviously we got to take Simmons, right? That's a clear. Now, if we fall to number three, it's open. Jalen Brown is a solid player. He obviously has to work on his offensive game. But he's going to end up being like a Jimmy Butler down the road. Now, you got Mitch Kupchak going to see this uh, seven-footer Euro, Drajan Bender. I think that's his first name. Sorry if I'm screwing that up. Um, but he's a seven-footer athletic wing. And uh, I'm not opposed to, to picking a, a Euro like that. Now, I'm history-wise, I'm not big on drafting Euros for the sake of saving our franchise. But... Like the Dirk, Dirk, Dirk Nowinski's and stuff like that, those guys are the exception. But most of the time, Euros fits in well when you have talent, okay? Like the, like the Mano Ginobili, you know, those guys fits in, they fit in well. Marcelo right now fits in well once we have talent around him. By himself, he's not going to do much. He's not going to lead your team to a championship, to the playoffs. But when you surround Euros with good talent, which we have, I think Drajan Bender at seven foot, you know, athletic wing would be serviceable and really good for our team at the number three spot. So I'm not opposed to picking him over like a Jalen Brown, to be honest with you. But having said that, I'm open. And to be honest with you, if we don't get Ingram or Simmons, which are the clear number one, easy number one or two pick, I'm leaving it open to Mitch Kupchak because I believe Mitch Kupchak is one of the smartest guys, if not the smartest GMs in the NBA or in all of sports, uh, no matter what people have been saying about our front office, uh, Mitch Kupchak has proven 
to to obviously drafting D'Angelo, obviously um, moving up to draft Jordan Clarkson, drafting um, Andrew Bynum at number 10, who helped us win a couple chips uh, with a bad meniscus tear, um, traded for uh, Pal Gasol for a bag of chips. Um, I mean, he did a lot of things, right? He a lot of you look at his resume. His resume is top notch in terms of what he's done for the Laker franchise. So, as smart as he is, and he's better than he's better basketball mind than myself than all of us, uh, us fans. Um, I'm gonna leave it up to him if we get the number three pick, and I'll be open to whatever he does, whether we trade the pick or we keep the pick. I'm leaving it up to Mitch at that point. So let me know your thoughts. Hit me up in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on these topics. Uh, thanks for commenting, liking, and subscribing on my YouTube videos. And thanks for uh, thanks for watching. And follow me on Twitter at MikeSportsLA. We'll talk soon, guys. Peace.